Good afternoon. Welcome on in to another day of From Day One. Boxy has confirmed we have been promoted. The gifts are going to be delivered shortly. So I need to know from you what kind of contest you all like to run. In the meantime, for today, we have a subset back for their rearrangement. Let's see what kind of craziness happens with Father Skeptic. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today, we have a sovereign citizen that I've covered before, Albert Hicks. Now the last time we covered him, he was going head to head with a pretty soft judge, and he pretty much dominated the conversation from the beginning to the end. Now we still didn't get his way, but it definitely left a few of you dissatisfied in the comments. Well today, it's gonna be a bit different, as he's now going head to head with my personal favorite judge, Judge Perkins. Now we have two appearances to get through today, so let's begin. All right, this is the city of Detroit versus um, Albert Hemmer Hicks Jr. Case numbers SP1442547, counts one, two, and three. SP1472651. And it looks like the rest of this stuff. Then I have SP1500872. And it looks like the rest of this stuff he's already entered a plea into all this stuff. No, sir. No plea. Well, that's not what it says here, sir. I uh, represent myself. Uh, I couldn't uh, enter the plea. I do. I never plea. You can check my record for plea. Oh, well, maybe I found you guilty now. Yeah. You know, I haven't uh, been. Matter of fact, I came inside there personally a week or so ago. And uh, the young lady, the security officer, uh, came out and said that I'm supposed to report today. No, this is on some old stuff. All right. I never entered the plea. So do you not want the representation of counsel? No, thank you. OK. Uh, there you go, Mr. Tech. Take, that's your first break of the day, Mr. Soroki, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, judge, I know how to deal with everybody. So I, you know, uh, I said, I know how to deal with everybody, any type of client. Yeah, I know, but he doesn't, he doesn't want it. He doesn't want right. it. So I we understand. Can't, we, can't, I understand. we can't force it on him. Yeah. No, 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 I understand. Yeah. So you can take Take it as a plus. Well, little does he know that when our resident brain donor decided to represent himself, the public defender essentially dodged an edible crayon grenade. Um, so, Mr. Lee, today is the date and time set for a show cause. Um, as for purposes of arraignment, sir. We'll do it like this. I'll enter a not guilty. Mr. Lee. Pardon me. Are you talking to Mr. Hicks or Mr. Lee? Mr. Mr. Hicks, I'm sorry. Mr. Mr. Hicks, for purposes of arraignment, I'm going to enter a not guilty plea on your behalf and give you a zero dollar bond. All right. I have that would be uh, practicing from the bench. Say that again. I object that would be practicing from the bench, practicing law from the bench. You will have to recluse yourself if you uh, hold on to that. I think you mean recuse. It looks like it's going to be one of those words are hard kind of videos today. All right. Well, I, I deny your motion. So go ahead. How do you want to proceed? I would like uh, for everything to be dismissed, if it pleases deny. the court. Deny. What basis? You haven't even let me tell my grounds. 
All right, bases, give it, give it to me. <laughs> For one, a ticket is a bill of attainder. Article one, section nine, clause three of the Constitution of the United States, no bill of attainder or ex post facto law shall be passed. You cannot have a real assistance. All right, all right, let me yeah. stop. That transmitted into uh, law of penalties. Let me stop you right there. Let me stop you right there. We have, first of all, we have a problem with the transmission. You're breaking up really, really, really bad, and we can't get that on the. Uh, turn your video I off. Stay. Maybe, maybe turn your video off. That will help. Let's see. All right, Is it try better? it now. Try it now. Let's see. Go ahead. Did you hear what I'm I listening. said? Yeah, I'm listening. Okay. Article 1, Section 9, Clause 3 of the Constitution of the United States. No bill of attainder or ex post facto law shall be passed. You cannot have a writ of assistance that has civil equity that transmits into law. Number 2, there is no sworn uh, statement from an injured party. Number three, the officer did not even sign the ticket. That's under a uh, law of penalty of perjury. I'm asking that all of these be dismissed. Well, you can ask all you want, but it doesn't mean you're going to get your way. And how is it that you literally contradict yourself within the same sentence by saying that the officer perjured himself with the ticket and then also saying that the officer didn't sign the ticket at all? all right, I'm going to deny that motion. All right, how else do you want to proceed? That's your declaratory uh, judgment? I'm going to deny the motion. I deny the motion. Okay, let's go to court. Trial? It don't matter, because y'all, y'all, I, I don't understand how y'all run y'all system. Y'all practice against the law. I'm a common law. Well, read, read, read the read the court rules, and then and you'll and you'll learn a little something. The court rules, the court rules yeah. go against the law. Y'all practice against the law, against the Constitution. I'm all common law. All right. Well, we're 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 beyond, we're beyond that. Okay. All right. So you so, say. So you we, say. So 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 are you going to prosecute stop, this, stop, or stop, somebody stop, else going to prosecute? Stop. 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 Let's not let's not keep going. All right, you want a trial date or you want or not? It's up to y'all. Remember, y'all make all the rules. Trial date. You want to? You want to? Uh, let's give them a jury trial date. Jury trial. Yeah. How long do I have to turn in uh, my briefs? I'll, I'll give you some dates in a second. Okay. Scamming. What a smile on your face. Uh, if it pleases the uh, court, uh, what jurisdiction are you uh, charging I, me I, on? You, 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 I asked the question, sir. I, I just uh, said if it pleases the court. I know, and I'm telling you I asked the questions. I, I appreciate your... your 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 your, uh, your respect for the court, but I asked the questions. I told you to read the court rules. The court rules is a what jurisdiction are you trying to charge me on? I know the answer to this. The jurisdiction is criminal and statutory, and is definitely not admiralty or common law. Is March the fifth a good date for you, sir? No. June the 11th is going to be the jury trial date. June the 11th? June the 11th. So um, let's put um, your final pre-trial date will be, let's see, put that a day before. That way, uh, that way, that'll be the date with our motions on June the 10th. May the 24th will be your motion and now the, the May 24th. 
May the 24th and the city will have seven days to respond. So the response so the motion will be due by May the 31st. I appreciate you, Your Honor. All right, have a very good day, sir. Best of luck to you. I just did. Thank you. All right, so that's the end of the first hearing. And as most of you probably heard, the next hearing date was set for mid-June. However, dipshit McDumbfuck wasn't paying attention, and he decided to come to court the very next week. Now, to his credit, he does have a small piece of paper that says that he's supposed to be in court today. However, he received that paper before the last hearing date, and the judge reset that trial until June. Good morning. You have a final pre-trial set for June the 10th, and you have a trial date. Uh, you have a final pre-trial. Your Honor, while you're trying to look for that, we're going to go ahead and leave that there. Come back tonight to hear that here on Judge uh, from day one. In the meantime, again, let us know what kind of contest you want to run down in the bottom to give away those boxy treats that she's sending. And we'll do it depending on the best suggestions we get from there. In the meantime, we have just a couple of fights left before we go to the evening. Sit back and enjoy.